So now we want to talk about some basics of probability. So probability is going to quantify the likelihood of an event. For example, tossing a coin and getting heads or getting tails. And rolling a dice and getting a three or a two maybe or something like that. What's the likelihood of that event occurring? So we could be thinking about the likelihood of things like getting heads when we cost, uh, toss a coin. Uh, it raining on a given day. Maybe a cyber attack in our business. Uh, winning a contract we really wanted. Maybe uh, earning $1 million in sales or getting 800 customers to walk in the door. What's the likelihood of these events? And um, before we dive into probability, though, it's important to talk about the distinction between probability and statistics. So one general way of thinking about this is that statistics look at the frequency of past events. And probability looks at the likelihood of things in the future. Again, this is kind of a generalization, but this is one way to think about it. Another way is this. So imagine we have a jar of jelly beans. Probability may say, okay, we know the proportion of each color, how many reds, purples, yellows, and greens, and we ask the probability of drawing a red jelly bean from the jar. Okay, that's the probability. We know the proportion, and we look at the probability of drawing a certain color. And then statistics, what we might use is use inferential statistics, which we're gonna talk about later, uh, to infer the proportion of red jelly beans by sampling from the jar. So we collect data because we don't initially know what the proportion of jelly beans are. So probability, we know the proportion, and we ask a probability. With statistics, we infer the proportion by sampling from the jar, by collecting data. Okay. All right, now let's talk about probability values, what those are. So probability values run between 0 and 1, 0 being impossible, one being it completely certain, and 0.5 being there an even chance. And you can read these as decimals or as percentages, so 50% being an even chance. So for example, maybe when we roll a die, the, the chance that we'll roll maybe a three, which is a one in six, if there's six sides in the die, that might be over here. And then the probability when we flip a coin of getting heads is an even chance, assuming we have a fair coin. And then maybe for a given day, Maybe this coming Thursday, the probability of rain is pretty high at 75%, okay, or 0.75. So those are our probability values. Now let's take a look at uh, flipping a coin again. So the possible outcome, which we also call the sample space, could be heads or tails. We just use H or T here. Now the probability of getting heads is one half or 0.5 or 50%, and it's the same for tails, assuming we have a fair coin. Now let's look at a die. If we roll a die, our outcomes, assuming it's six-sided, are one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those are the possible outcomes. And so if we want the probability of rolling a given number, it's just gonna be one over six because we have six sides of the die. And we say that each outcome is equally likely. Now we could also say that maybe we want the probability of rolling a one or a two. We would say that's two sixths that are one third because it's two sides of a six sided die. Or what we could also say is the probability of rolling an odd number. So there's going to be three odd numbers on a six sided die. So that would be three divided by six or one half. So we could look at the probability of achieving one outcome or potentially multiple outcomes um, in a scenario, in an experiment. All right, now we also, in, in the beginning here, we need to talk about what random variables are because you hear those come up quite a bit in probability. So random variables assigns a number to each outcome in the probability space. So maybe we say a heads is a zero and a tails is one. Now it could be another value that we're using, maybe a five for heads and a 10 for tails, but most importantly, it's gonna quantify the outcome. That's gonna be important in this. And also, when we talk about random variables, we could have discrete random variables, which are counted numbers, like 3,760 customers, or 5,107 orders, and so on. So they're counted numbers. Or we could have continuous random variables, where they have an infinite number of possible decimal subdivisions. So like 75.97 gallons of gasoline, or a delivery time being 12 hours, 57 minutes, so many seconds, and so on or package weight in pounds or kilograms. So these things could have an infinite number potentially of decimal subdivisions, at least within a given range. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to subscribe 
And if you want a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.